Hello, Jay Somerville, your web and social media expert. And I'm here to talk to you about primarily small business and various different ways they, they grow their businesses through, through guerrilla marketing and those types of subjects. One of the biggest things that I've seen today is the, uh, one of the first criteria is a do-it-yourself website. So, and it's not always small companies, by the way, it's, we, we also experience this with larger companies where they've got a friend of a friend, it could be a daughter or a son or something like this that, uh, that talks the talk and next thing you know, they've, they've taken over the marketing, uh, the digital marketing for that particular company. Now, statistics have proven, believe it or not, that the success rate of a do-it-yourself website is about 1.6%. Now, uh, and it goes deeper than this, it's, it's every box software, every, uh, I, I just see it everywhere. Last week, I was watching a movie, uh, I, it was to do with fundraising for fireworks. And this daughter came back to town from the big, from the big city, they, uh, they were ready to go bankrupt and she was going to save the company because they needed uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars, I guess, to do this big New Year's Eve fireworks display or, or whatever occasion it might have been. So right on TV, there was probably, you know, five million viewers, maybe more, whatever it might be. But uh, within about a week, she whipped up a website. And uh, I think within about 10 days, they brought in something like $250,000. <laughs> Well, the problem is, is when you see this type of stuff on TV, it is purely fiction. It does not work that way, especially without a paid budget for pay-per-click or, or, uh, or, uh, or Facebook campaigns or whatever it might be. And it's just a tragedy because they've made it uh, my industry such that anybody can make a website. Well, you can. You can make a very, very, very basic website. You already know what your chances are of, uh, of being successful without the help of a professional. But bottom line is, is yes, you're gonna save money, but how much time is it gonna take? It's a, there's a huge learning curve to developing uh, websites in particular, all the extra aspects from hosting to understanding databases to backups, but yet so many millions and millions of businesses, small businesses continue to do this. And uh, every week we probably get at least two or three calls mm -hmm. of people that are almost ready to shut their doors. They've come to us in desperation. You know, uh, what about search? Well, a guy down the street told me that he knew all about search, but yet if I do XYZ uh, service, followed by the geographical target, you can't find them anywhere. On that note, by the way, with SEO, Google has 200 different points in their algorithms in order to rank your website. Do you really think that in uh, you know a, a short period of time or do it yourself that you're going to learn all that? I've been at it two decades. I kind of choke a little bit calling myself an expert because that means that I know everything. I don't, but I certainly with two decades behind me, I've got a, a huge amount of experience. But I run into this all the time. I don't understand why people think that uh, such an incredibly important tool should be just done in a way that makes them look unprofessional. Kind of an interesting story. It was just a couple of weeks ago, my wife was looking for new awnings for our home. And she finally found a company, it was actually about 20 miles away from where we live, and I said, so how did the search go? She said, awful. She said, these cheesy looking websites with flashing graphics and, and pinks and reds and purples. And she said, finally, I found a professional website in this close city. So they ended up coming down, giving us a quote, and most likely we're gonna end up doing, uh, doing business with them. People aren't stupid these days. They know what a basic, unprofessional website looks like. And yet, small businesses just seem to just continue to go down this route. It is detrimental to your success. And uh, you know, for the maybe $1,500 to $3,000 to have it done professionally, finance it. Do whatever you have to do, but when you're dealing with a professional, 
especially when they understand the basics of search, search engines, not just the basics, but the details of everything that it takes to uh, help your business be successful. So the next time you think about doing uh, a website yourself, you really think, think deeply about it. And uh, especially with such an incredibly important tool, do you really want to spend 40, 50, 60, 80 hours just to learn how to do it? And by the way, do you really think that anybody, even if they spent two straight months on a website, was considered an expert? Obviously, that's not the case. Again, I choke on calling myself an expert. It's been two decades, but my customers and stuff uh, call me this, this type of verbiage, so I'll just take it. But the thing is, it's, uh, it's just unbelievable how somebody can expect to, uh, you know, to, to get a high-ranking website with, with next to nothing for training. It's kind of interesting, last week I was supposed to meet an individual and, and, and they thought the same thing. Uh, they weren't in the coffee shop and actually I'm, I'm quite thankful, but the bottom line is, is, is he felt that SEO was all based on the module that you install. So you install this, this SEO module and just magically the website comes to life and, and, and is ranked number one in search engines. It doesn't happen that way. It never has. It never will. So I'm not saying this in a derogatory way, but you have got, small business have got to start learning to hire professionals to do the jobs that they need to get their marketing done. It's for the same reason why would I go to a small business like I did to install the awnings? Yes, of course, I can do it myself, but I also know how long it's going to take me to figure it out. Why do I want to go through all that stress? And then what if I make a mistake? What if I make a mistake and my, my roof starts leaking or whatever it might be? It's the same with a website, except no, your roof isn't going to start leaking, but you're going to start losing customers. So, or, or even, that's even if they can find you in search engines. And to that end, which is also absolutely shocking. Still today, over 50% of businesses do not have websites. I do not understand it. Uh, you know, some people say, well, you know, I've gone this far without it. If you don't adapt to technology at some point, some young buck is going to kick you in the rear end, steal your business, and then what kind of a retirement are you going to have? So I know I'm a little harsh on this, but the thing is, think carefully the next time you think that you can wing it and build your own website, do your own SEO. This is a, a career that takes years and years and years to good at, uh, to get good at. It just, you know, somebody with a, even three months of education, it isn't anywhere near enough. So that's enough for now, but uh, until next time, thank you.